Um, so you went from doing, you know, professional snowboard to some MTV stuff, like in front of the camera. What made you decide to direct? Um, it's funny because I never really like wanted to be in the business. You know, through snowboarding, I think back in the day when I was riding, a lot of people like wanted us to do commercials. You know, they wanted us to do like stuff in films, a lot of stunt work, and and I was never really interested in it until I started getting hurt really bad. And then I knew like I wasn't going to be snowboarding forever. Like kind of like that fantasy went away in my mind, and I thought, you know, this might be something I'd be into. So it was more of like a natural progression. Um, you know, doing commercials, doing stunt work, and then ultimately getting a couple acting roles, you know, but I realized really quickly that that wasn't what I wanted to do. Like, I really didn't enjoy being in front of the camera at all, and I didn't really think I was good at it, you know, but I really enjoyed the filmmaking process in a whole. So, just through being on a lot of sets and watching a lot of movies go down and seeing how it was done, I started to do, you know, this and that. I was PAing, I was, um, you know, working with sound guys, working in the camera department, working as a grip, just doing whatever I could do. Until I finally felt like I understood every single job on a movie set. And it wasn't until that moment that I realized that, okay, I, I now know how this all goes down. And I realized that I probably, I just had this like gut instinct, you know, that I thought that I would be good at like writing and telling stories, you know, because I was always kind of the guy who was on set, like making jokes, telling goofy stories to people. And, and I felt like, you know, this is something that I think I could really get into and be good at. And, um, and I just started writing scripts, man. I just started writing like short films and making them with my friends and putting them on the internet. And, uh, and you know, every time you do one and people say, hey, we like it, you know, that's good. It kind of like motivated me to do another one, you know, and do another one. And I never tried to like get ahead of myself and write like a hundred million dollar film, you know, or something like that. I always kept it real simple and real small and almost created like a stepping stone process for myself. You know, like, okay, I'm going to start with a short film, then I'm going to do a documentary, then I'm going to do a really cheap feature, and then I'm going to do a more expensive feature. And it's just been this, like, stepping stone process for me. Um, really just figuring out what I want to do kind of as I go along. So going along with that, um, how do you view, like, the past films and then, like, the current generation of films? And, like, are there any there that inspire you? And with that, like, how do you view the whole industry? Um, I mean, like I said before, I mean, I, I really enjoy all films. I watch a lot of Korean films. I watch a lot of foreign, like French films. Um, I watch every film that comes out because I think there's a lot to be learned from even films that quote unquote are bad films. I mean, I don't think there's such thing as a bad movie. I think the movies either work or they don't work. And I think timing has a lot to do with it as well. You know, like one night you could watch a movie and be tired and, and you know, be bored by it. But then the next day you get up and you're in a good mood and you watch it again and you enjoy it, you know? So <clears throat> I think that um, I think that just our generation, the films that are coming out, very contemporary films, there's not a lot of good directors out there. I think a lot of people think they can direct films, but they don't really do their research and they think they can just, you know, shoot a master shot, shoot a two shot, go in for coverage, get a close up, and they've made a movie. But filmmaking is a storytelling process. You know, you're taking the audience, you're taking them on a ride, you know, on a journey. You're, you're pulling their emotions, you know, left and right the whole time. And I think that older films, you know, really up until like the early 90s, there was only a few directors out there, you know, if you look back. And, and they were real directors. Like, they knew what it was about to tell a story. And today, we just have a lot of people who get money um, for whatever reason, you know, maybe they got a wealthy family or something, they get some money to make a movie, and, and they just, you know, kind of wing it, you know, and figure, I'm just going to go into post-production and do a bunch of choppy cuts and put some weird colors in there, but that's really not what filmmaking is about. Filmmaking is telling a story and moving the audience one way or the other, even if they hate it in the end. It's like you, you made them feel something, you know.